one thing that I'm passionate about is the fact that for those that maybe aren't able to have Christmas, you would like to be able to share that joy with them. Because growing up, you know, yeah. obviously I was a little bit more blessed than some others, so I was able to experience that. And so to be able to help somebody have that same euphoric, I guess, feeling. It's a little different than the angel tree of just helping one kid or one family. You're able to see the spirits on the kid and let him kind of support his family or her family when they get to go in and play with y'all at Target and go across, the, you know, all the aisles. It kind of reminds me of Andre Johnson, the football player from the Houston. Uh, he used to be a Houston Texan, and he would go, like, buy out, like, Toys the Rest of stuff. <laughs> this is what it feels like, but you get to be more hands-on. We get to be hands-on in our community. And so uh, I really I, I can't express enough this is an awesome gig that y'all are, y'all are doing. The helicopter thing is fucking cool. But it's over the top. This is a little, it's a hip. As it should be, I think. Yeah, I think it really, it, it hammers it home. And it's also kind of one of those points to be like, oh, okay, I remember that now. Yeah, they do, they fly Santa in on a helicopter without any reindeer. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So um, well, let's, yeah. let's talk a little bit more about what the community, what y'all have done this year. So, you know, to kind of prove that y'all have, or show how y'all have done such great work in the community. Let's talk a little bit about, you mentioned the golf tournament, you mentioned the barn party and the polo reserve. Um, what other community, or I guess, groups have we been working with in 2018, and what are we looking for in 2019, in addition to, obviously, raise, doubling the foundation's, uh, I guess, funding? Yeah, good question. And one thing, to your point uh, a second ago, the, the kids are the primary focus. It's the whole reason Denver Active 2030 is around. Another goal of ours is since it is a group of young men in the ages 20 to 40, uh, developing young leaders in the community with a philanthropy focus is a, is a, is a secondary and really important goal of, of what we do. So when you talk about the business leaders and the people in the community, we, we, hope, and we hope that we're developing quality leaders that will be able to contribute to the community as they progress in their careers. So that's kind of a cool tie-in. I was just picking that up. Is well played. That is well played. Yeah. That was, I like how you brought yeah. that all back. That was, that was yeah, nice. Thanks, and you're right. You're setting an example, you know, for, you know, those that maybe don't always get that same luxury. You're showing that, you know, everyone, y'all care and you're, you're giving back to your community just as you hope as maybe these young children grow up, they'll be able to kind of do the same, oh, yeah. given the same opportunities, they'll be able to kind of help out in that facet so that's a really good point i'm glad you were able to mention that y'all are y'all are mentoring not only just you know it's not just the season of giving but it's a year-round thing yeah totally and i've been in the group for i I think four years now and it's just uh, some of the guys in the group are are, have been much older than me or they're just becoming dads or things like that so it and a lot of them are in business and and so we're always talking and learning from each other it's been it's been pretty awesome and we can bounce ideas off the old the the the. You can call people old. It's cool. Yeah, we do it all the, the time. Uh, I, yeah, the old, okay, so the old guys in the, the gray group. hairs, those blue hairs. <laughs> yeah, and a couple of them I like to to dog in the meetings on it. But um, we'll we'll figure out how can we raise more money. And you're saying like what we've done already. So this year we've had the Barden party, we've had the Polo Classic, we've had the the golf tournament, and they've all done really well and they've raised a lot of money and a fun side note that i think you'll love since it's a group of 100 people we get to our events early the day before 6 a.m before the and we'll set up the whole event ourselves and we'll save ourselves a couple tens of thousands of dollars by not outsourcing yeah and so we'll do all the labor we'll set up the freaking porta potties by ourselves and when we and we none of us we want to do it because of the cause, but when we get there, it's why are we not hiring this out? And then you divide twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars by a five thousand dollar grant or a ten thousand dollar grant, and we go, that's four more charities, or that's eight more charities that we can support. That's why we're all here doing this. Plus, it's fun; we get to hang out with each other. But yeah, you end up so. just <laughs> dicking around, and be like, you know what? You remember how how much fun that was watching Alex. Fall trying to put that porta potty together, <laughs> or when we locked yeah. one, someone, you know, fill in the blank here and then pushed it over <laughs> afterwards. And y'all even have, you know, y'all have fun parties and y'all have fun doing it. So while yeah. we are supporting a good cause, it's a good time as well. 
That's a yeah. big proponent about no vacancy also. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're big on the big times. And so I, let's talk a little bit about what we have planned for 2019. Obviously, we're not done talking about the children's uh, or the, 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 the blah, 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 Christmas for kids. <laughs> but, uh, you know, let's talk about a little bit about why you should be a regular uh, follower of the Denver Active 2030 Club. You can follow them on Instagram. You can follow them. That's, I think, how we actually all became friends. But at the same time, y'all have big things coming down the pike at all the time. Y'all, y- y'all are always kind of, the brain's always working up there, huh? <laughs> we like to think so. <laughs> y'all got us beat. We, ours is full of bong residue. <laughs> Hangover pills. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, for 2019, we've got the Colorado Children's Classic coming up. That's our golf tournament. That's going to be at the Sanctuary. sanctuary. Uh, Kenny Monfort's running it. We're super excited about it. Um, that'll be June 6th. So that's our first thing. Um, and then we hit a whole gamut of events. So that way, no matter Good what. Verbiage. Yeah. No matter, thanks. No matter what demo, demographic or what kind of um, sponsorship you're looking for who you're looking to reach we've got something for everyone so we've got the we've got the golf tournament on on uh june 21st we've got the polo classic and that we've got we've got a black tie dinner on friday saturday's family day so all the family guys bring their 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 kids and their wives out um on sunday it's back to being a really good party. Sunday's my favorite day, but I think that was when I was there. Yeah, I had a was. big time. I had a big time. <laughs> All right, good. So you have to come back. <laughs> I'm not scared. And you know, you've seen it in the community, you know, and at least I can speak to that is like I was there on behalf of No Vacancy this past June and the local community leaders, maybe not those that are in the Denver Active 2030 Club, that doesn't exclude you from being, if you have you know, a small business owner or if you're a restaurateur or, you know, we have a lot of folks that work in the, in the, the food industry. They're all contributions and, you know, if you want to, like you said, manual labor, hands-on, there's all sorts of ways to contribute to not only the kids but also to the good causes that y'all are backing in all the facets. Oh, to- totally. And there are so many awesome companies that get involved with with Polo and Barn Party and the golf tournament. And Polo, we have some of the bigger companies in Colorado are, are the major sponsors for it, and they're giving back to the community. And it, it's a party for everyone who goes, and it's also a great, high-quality, top-notch event. And we try and make sure we deliver a consistently awesome experience for everyone who goes. We know if we do a good job and people have a good time and talk about the foundation, we'll end up, on the other end, raising way more money for kids the next year. So we've been pushing up the amount of money we raise every year. We're, we're, we're a little over a million now, and we've got to get to two million. And we'll only do it with people like you kept helping us out and getting the word out. And so we're so appreciative that you've got us on your, your podcast here. This is awesome. You say that now. You say that now. You're going to be like, damn it, why to hang out with Kip? Now I'm slightly associated with him. But, no, you've, you've teamed up with some great folks. I know Adam, uh, the chef over at Hearth and Dram, he was one of those guys. Y'all had the folks from Hoppa and then Fogo de Chow. Y'all have had folks, and obviously we do a lot of uh, Stone Appetit as our food segment, but those are like big things for us as well so we like to be able to kind of help out in any way and so our way may be that we have a platform that we can reach a couple of folks that it's it's colorado centric so it doesn't matter if you're in the mountains and you're our listeners or if you're here in the front range or in the cities from fort fort collins all the way down to pueblo and trinidad I don't know if we have a lot of listeners in Trinidad, but um, all of these folks, they're able, you're some able emails. So, yeah, I'm listening down <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> I would love to see that. That would be great. <laughs> but yeah, so everyone's able to help out and you're helping those in your community. So like you're a transplant and I'm a transplant. We're all Coloradans and Color- San Diegans, San Diego, uh, little Ron Burgundy. We're all Coloradans. We're all in this rock together. We got to help each other out. And so why not start um, in, in any form or facet, let's start with the kids and let's, you know, like you said, you're, you're trying to help also lead by example, molding, you know, young minds into young men and things of that nature. And so we're really stoked uh, to see what y'all are doing. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm friends with um, some guys in y'all's club, you especially. And uh, I'm stoked about what we have going, not only next week for those that are listening, obviously 13th, 
Four Seasons, seven o'clock. Come catch a buzz. Come do some, maybe some silent uh, auctions, a little donations, foundation, things of that nature. And then next Saturday, if you want to come out and help out in Stapleton, if you want to see Santa arrive on a uh, helicopter, it doesn't matter. Anything from start to finish, we can help from $1, $5 on the website all the way down. There's some way we can be helping those that are less fortunate than us in this holiday season. And I just I appreciate you letting us kind of come and pick your brain, so to speak, <laughs> so we can get the word out and so we can kind of help you all out as, any way we can. Hey, thanks, Kip. That's awesome. And then uh, if I can drop the website one more time, it's da2030.org. That has the Christmas for Kids donation link, and then it has a list of all of our 2019 events. It's got the golf classic on there. It's got the polo classic, the barn party, and next year's Christmas for Kids. So great way to get all the info about our events and what we do and what we're all about and our mission and donate to Christmas for Kids so these kids can have Christmas. There we go. And you'll be able to find it on the No Vacancy website as well as on our Instagram page. You may have saw the post today when you're prior to listening to this, but you're right. We're, we're going to have the link to the to the fundraising on our page. You'll be able to see a little write-up about what they're doing over at the DA 30, 2030 Club. It will be on the website as well, but um, we, we really hope that if you can't make it next week, please think about at least trying to make a donation online. Let's see what we can... Let's let's show out. You know, let's do some JJ Watt type numbers here, guys. I'm asking uh, our followers and our friends to please uh, contribute any way they can, whether it be with bodies and spirit or with uh, something in the pocketbook. But uh, in the meantime, Alex, I do appreciate you joining me this week on No Vacancy, and I hope you have a happy holidays, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Kev. You too. I really appreciate this. Hey, my pleasure, man. And to our listeners, don't forget to uh, go rate, review, subscribe, and we'll see you all next week.